so very good morning nona so very good morning nona so today we are going to see about uh, science and application of nlp natural language processing and uh, we will uh, like to see about uh, how we can process the natural language processing okay we already have a webinar uh, in this some basics like uh, tokenizing and uh, stemming okay and the ngrams like that okay once we go through that one again and then we will move on to word embedding okay so word embedding is one of the important process in machine learning machine learning we will see about that one okay so this webinar is uh, uh, conducted by college of gkm college of engineering and technology okay organized by uh, uh, computer science department of engineering okay so thanks for this gkm college of engineering with uh, association with pantech e learning and then uh, convener dr ns bhuneswari phd principal gkm college of engineering and technology and then coordinator dr m babu uh, professor and phd of csc okay uh, gkm college of engineering and technology okay so thanks for uh, we are giving special thanks to convener and coordinator to conducting this wonderful webinar on the science and applications of nlp okay so uh, then we enter into the session okay so before we enter into the session i like to uh, tell about origin of pantex solution uh, so we are origin 2004 and then seven branches 100 plus employees and 1200 plus workshops conducted for each and every students of colleges and like states like andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu and kerala okay so our our main motivation is like research and development uh, for industries project and faculty development programs and on training workshop internship and in plan and training and then short term courses for value added courses like this we are giving and now also it's available internships like uh, with partner with iet uh, mumbai iet college of mumbai okay we partner with iet if you are uh, now it's going on internships are going on like machine learning uh, deep learning or iot okay in terms of things and some other domains also power electronic system power system uh, and a lot of domains open cv lot of domains are available okay so if you are willing to join with these uh, five days and one month internship you can at last i will give some numbers and you can register for the internship with you will be get a certificate of iet uh, mumbai okay with uh, partnership with pantech solution okay and so we have departments like ece and triple e domains and csc and it domains okay so we are doing some projects based on iot or artificial intelligence or vlsi image processing network simulation and electric vehicles and all and csc and it department like big data python and not only for cc or triple e this general one but we are providing for both arts and science college also okay uh, like mca department or M mba uh, marketing side okay so today we are going to see about the science and applications of nlp okay so about me i like currently i am working as a research software development engineer pantech solution uh, like uh, projects like data scientist uh, uh, machine learning and deep learning and ai we are doing okay so if you have any doubt regarding this webinar you can contact me on hoy. Um, java at the red pantech mail dot com uh, so i am kamlesh let's be attend to the session how we can do uh, nlp process okay what are the main thing and what are the applications of nlp process and then we will enter into the session of technical session how we are we will do some basic knowledge basic process in nlp and then word embedding okay so this is our main aim just introduction to nlp and then all the applications okay what are the applications available how it's processing if you given text means how machine will be processed those text and then 
we will we will do board embedding okay so this is the today's goal okay so once you can check it guys today's goal is this one okay so agenda for today's webinar is just to overview what is machine translation and fighting with spam okay so how we can uh, uh, filter the spam messages okay uh, about that we will check it so how we can filter spam messages we are using word embedding method only okay we will uh, check check it out using word embedding method how we can remove the spam and then conclusion okay so overview overview is nothing but first of all uh, i like to tell about what is nlp okay nlp is natural language processing otherwise nltk natural language toolkit okay so based on this we are processing uh, we have some na languages okay some text file okay we need to convert those text file into and machine readable or you are giving your voice to siri or uh, hey siri or any other like uh, uh, sorry here siri is on okay so hey siri or uh, hey google like that you are saying okay so what you are giving inter, uh, what you are giving as a voice it will be uh, give it get it as an output okay so it will be give some output okay so based on between these uh, interactive between us and your mobile phone they will have some process like nlp okay so that is called that is the use of nlp natural language processing okay that is nothing but enabling computer to interact with user in their language okay so this is the main process of nlp okay so nlp is everywhere like language understanding uh, if you are new to uh, some other place okay so like um, we are now only hindi okay you are coming to tamil nadu or if you are uh, telugu person uh, you are traveling to hindi uh, hindi state okay so we need some understand we need to do some understanding of language okay so for that purpose you will use uh, some other applications like google translation okay if you take a photography of any uh, board birds sorry any board okay you will be it will be automatically translate into your mother tongue okay so like that applications we can use in language understanding and search engines okay search engines uh, like you can take it as a google search engines or any other search engines okay you are searching for some uh, like if you are entering what is sorry if you are entering machine learning means it will be give machine learning definitions only in google search okay but if you are search for machine learning ppt okay like that if you search means it will be so only a ppt okay so based on the words okay what you are entering in as a words it will be change the searching result okay if you enter ppt it will be so the ppt a pdf at last it will be so the pdf okay so otherwise only you are entering a machine learning means it will be so the result of some other websites or some other definitions okay so this is this is the difference between uh, this is what here nlp will be using okay how it's using means it, it's like search engines okay then machine translation machine translation you know okay so if you are entering an uh, any english word you want to translate into the tamil okay you can use machine translation and the text analysis okay text analysis or sentiment analysis okay sentiment uh, what is the main thing is uh, text analysis means for example uh, we can take it as a twitter sentiment analysis okay otherwise facebook sentiment analysis okay F what is sentiment is nothing but uh, in facebook you have a like button okay so based on the if you click like button you have pop up some other five option like laugh or <coughs> like uh, angry okay or sad or ha love okay like that they will they will give some options that is called sentiment analysis okay so based on that if you have any review okay we have an output of sentiment okay what type of sentiment that one okay so for example the person is uh, raju is killed by uh, raju is killed by raju word is there okay so th this is one one type of sentiment okay so uh, like that we have some other sentiment will be there okay that is called text analysis okay then chatbot and personal assistant okay so not only our siri uh, or 
uh, OK Google or Hey Google. Not only that one, we have some other personal assistant cloud, okay, like Amazon Alexa, okay. So that are some other personal assistant, okay. This other area we are covering an NLP, okay, as application wise. And then this is the building block of NLP, okay. So how NLP is processing, okay. So like hardware frameworks, okay. So framework we mostly, uh, I think you guys will know about the TensorFlow only, I think, okay. So ngraph, neon and dynet also on other, other framework. Okay, so hardware, CPU or GPU. Okay, so I already told to you, uh, sorry, uh, you can install neon or ngraph or dynet or tensorflow as a CPU or GPU. Okay, so based on your hardware, you can use. Okay, then after that, you can move at the top, that is topology. Topologies is nothing but key value network, match LSTM, that is long short memory or memory network or pointer network, okay. So it's just uh, take uh, like a yeah, memories, okay. Memory is nothing but like RAM memories, okay. Then NLP anchor, okay. Uh, semantic segmentation, parser, okay. And ER intent. About this, I will show you in technical session, okay. And end to end example, like uh, intent extraction, reading comprehension, okay. So, most common words like that we can process using end to end example. And then Python libraries, okay. So, this is the one of the architecture, okay, building architecture of. Uh, NLP okay so we can use here and simply uh, we will tell about what is uh, NLP means as a human we have a language you need to process those language into an um, useful okay so for that purpose we are using non-trivial useful output take as an input text in a human language and process it in a way that suggests to the intelligent process was involved okay that is human language or any other text language would be processed into an understandable language by a machine is called as a nlp okay natural language processing okay so how we will do in past few years as a NLP okay so in 1915 to 1919 NLP as a rule based system okay rule based system means if we are uh, giving any uh, input data based on that uh, input already we will uh, give the uh, output okay so for example if you are giving what is your name you need to give you need to set uh, given output uh, uh, chatbot like that so a rule based system and corpus based statistic uh, statistics corpus based statistics statistics is nothing but uh, you will give more number of data okay so uh, with paragraph or more okay more number of data in uh, based on that more number of data if you are entering the question it will be give the replay uh, with similarity based okay that is corpus based statistic 1992 2000 okay so i think uh, uh, we totally we done webinar in this uh, pantech e learning channel two webinar on chatbot okay within two webinar of chatbot we done first web, first chatbot as a corpus based chat statistic analysis only and then machine learning that is 2002 2014 okay so machine learning is nothing but we have already data with label okay so what are the sentiment we have okay so based on that we will train the algorithm then we will predict the output that is machine learning based and deep learning based and it's going on and so on okay so that is uh, deep learning we have data with deep learning okay so this is the uh, we will do the processing of uh, machine learning process sorry uh, NLP processes okay so application of NLP are machine translation okay how we will do machine translation how it's processing okay so machine translation is nothing but uh, it's processing of one source language to uh, or one source language or text into an another language that is called machine translation okay so what is the most important application is the one of the most important application in NLP okay so you see here right corner side we have an architecture of M M MT that is machine translation so we have a source text so source text into deformatting and then pre-editing okay so deformatting and pre-editing after that we will pass into the 
some of the uh, analysis some of the functions like semantic or contextual analysis or morphological or synthetic analysis and then after that we will move on to internal representation of source language okay internal representation of source language is um, we have we need to convert those input language into some other language okay so for that purpose we need to check other language processors so so at that at this situation it will be checked for other language processors that's internal representation of source language uh, semantic and synthetic generation that is uh, so it will it will be take some of the word for example we need to change uh, uh, one english word to tamil word means it will be uh, it will be taken the word okay so it will be taken word according to that then we will do some contextual semantic and synthetic generation and reformatting the words and then post editing post editing is that uh, present past tense and it will be okay or like that it will be checked checking for that then we will be get a output that is target language text okay so this is the one of the machine translation uh, architecture okay so in machine translation we have a totally two type one is uh, bilingual MT system okay bilingual MT system and multilingual MT system bilingual MT system is nothing but uh, uh, it produces a translation between two particular languages only okay so for example you need to translate uh, english to tamil or tamil to english or uh, you want to translate english to telugu or ta telugu to english otherwise hindi to tamil uh, tamil to hindi like bilingual mt system and we have uh, another one in hand like multilingual mt system okay so system produce the translation between any pair of language okay any pair of language they may be either unidirectional or bidirectional okay the system will produce that is if if uh, you can process the multiple okay multiple number of any uh, multiple pair of language into an uh, target language okay that is called multilingual empty system okay so totally we have totally two and then approaches okay of empty translation okay so we have some of the approaches for empty translation that is missile translation like a direct empty approach interact uh, interactual empty approach okay so and then uh, transfer approach and empirical empty approach okay so totally we have four type of approach okay so don't want to see this right image i will tell you okay so totally we have approach to uh, yeah, machine translation we have four approach okay so one of the first approach is direct empty approach okay so direct empty approach is it's a less popular only and it's a most oldest one okay uh, it's a oldest one approaches uh, totally okay so what is the use of this approach is just it will be translate the source language directly into a target language okay so that is the use of uh, that is the use of direct empty approach okay so this is also called as a uh, system as a bilingual or unilingual translation okay in nature okay then interlingual approach okay so interlingual approach is nothing but a system uh, that interact with uh, source language to an intermediate language called as an interagent system that is if you want to convert a source language into the target language it will directly can't translate it will be uh, checked for some inter intermediate languages also okay that is analyzing pro it will do some analyze process and then it will be uh, do the generation okay so that is called interlinear set of words to machine translation okay set of words like uh, uh, one or two or three line okay it, it need to check okay like grammatical mistakes and all okay so that is called this one intelligence so if it is a direct empty approach means just like we need to convert and food into an, some other language just a word we need to convert okay so intelligent approaches can you be understood with the help of following empty premise okay so this is the premise okay so based on this premise only it will be check the data okay then next one is transfer approach okay so transfer approach is nothing but uh, uh, totally we have three stages in transfer approach for what is the first stage is converting a source language source language oriented rep representation okay so that is 
only it will be take some abstracts of source language okay some of the important points of source language and what is the second stage is using that oriented reference to sm or converter into the equivalent target language that is t okay? then after that final text generator okay so if you are entering some words it will be take some abstract important words from the text and then it will be converted into the target language okay using that oriented reference it will convert into the target language then called the transfer approach okay then we enter into the empirical empty approach uh, like uh, the emerging approach okay it's a machine translation why because uh, user will large amount of raw data okay like if you want if you want to analyze using facebook type of data set or twitter type of data set we got more n number of uh, users posts will be there public posts will be there okay we need to analyze this huge data means uh, we need some other different approaches okay so for those type of approach we will uh, machine translation we are using empirical okay so raw data consists of text and their translations also okay using that we are converting into uh, target target language okay but between it will be take some memory okay so memory based technique is called empirical empty approach okay so because uh, installation about installation i already told to you okay uh, again i'll tell you if you want to use here i am using jupyter notebook okay so here you can see this is a jupyter notebook so if you are install an anaconda navigator okay if you are install anaconda navigator software in your pc so it's available for both mac os and then uh, linux ubuntu and uh, for windows also you can install it if you open the uh, anaconda navigator you will be get an jupyter notebook application if you click launch button it will be move on to your default web browser okay then you can create a new python file and then you can work on it okay so this is one of the type you can do installation of uh, jupyter notebook otherwise if you want to use any other notebooks you can use better uh, collab okay so sorry kaggle notebook okay so kaggle also having some separate uh, this is the one of the website so in kaggle website we have we can download the machine learning or deep learning data set it's open source okay you can download it directly so in this also you can uh, create a new notebook and you can check for that okay so this also on the new notebook only okay so otherwise you can use google collab okay you just search it for in google google collab and then you will be get a notebook and in there also you can use okay that is the installation process of notebook then we will enter into the one of the application like uh, how we can remove the spam messages okay how we can find the spam messages uh, in using nlp okay so is the one of the most uh, common problem okay and one of the most common problem and one of the most uh, maximum user uh, exciting with spam only okay so because uh, it's a one of, uh, it's easy to understand and uh, uh, if you if you are beginner you can um, learn easily okay so using this type of uh, examples okay then we can move to some other process like if you are understand about this spam how we can do you can move on uh, another spam like another projects like tutor sentiment analysis or drug disease analysis okay uh, otherwise some other natural language processing okay so here one of the most important one this make the spam filter more important because the first this is the first problem okay filtering the uh, mostly we can use the nlp process okay so that is false positive or false negative for example if you take on data set you have a data set i will show you the data set wait a minute then you will be okay spam so this data set link i already uh, given in description link okay if you need you can click the data set link and you can download it okay so we have totally two uh, two attributes one is v1 another one is v2 okay so v2 have all the messages both the spam messages and original messages also that is real message this that is legitimate okay legitimate messages also okay so if we have an ham that is uh, normally uh, they are sending to you okay normally you so, okay 
jog uh, jogging if uh, like okay so these are the normal messages if you have a label with spam okay that is called spam messages okay this and are unknown from unknown person you are getting like this messages okay so we have both ham and spam okay so here i am having both label and data okay so this is called supervised learning in machine learning okay in machine learning we have totally three type unsupervised learning supervised learning and reinforcement learning this is called supervised learning okay so for this only we are uh, going to uh, uh, see the word embedding method okay how we can do word embedding method okay so uh, let you know let we'll back to session okay presentation okay so after this we are doing some processing model like uh, wait a minute okay we are doing some processing model uh like n gram modeling okay about n gram modeling word stemming bias bias in classification automatic summarization question and answering and sentiment so this will i will tell you in technical session because uh, i have a program also okay for n gram and word stemming and all if you if with if i tell uh theoretically if i tell means it won't you you won't get exactly i will tell it in technical ways okay then you will be understand nicely okay then word embedding method okay so word embedding method is nothing but uh, it's a machine learning method okay so if you have a text okay so that text you want to convert into a numerical okay then you want to do uh, word embedding method so you can do that is called back of words okay so word embedding is also called as a word vector okay that word vector is we are converting into the back of words okay so each word numerically such as the vector correspond to uh, how the word is used and how it's mean okay so vector encoding is also uh, used to uh, context the appear word into the smaller thing okay for example you have a vector word like leopard lion and tiger okay will be close to together okay while they will be uh, converted into the back of words into a single vector okay but uh, you are far away from planet and cast okay so this is the different it will be checked for difference okay like lep uh, leopard and lion tiger this and all based on some animal based and planet and cast are some other different one okay so like this it will be uh, first it analyze the data and then it then it will be uh, draw some charts like even cooler relation between the words and examined with the material operation okay so here we can see we have an vector of man and woman okay so man and woman that is male and female difference i am telling about male and female differentiation okay so king and queen okay so another vector okay like that if you have a close to uh, for example if you have king okay definitely the king means it's a, a gender of male okay if queen means it's a gender of female okay so here i am taking a male or female actually but if you have a word of king man or queen woman okay so this is one of the example and you can see here verb tense also okay like walking means walked or swimming means swim this is called stemming or swim stemming and also another process also is there uh, like stemming like a stemming uh, limitizer okay so based on that you can do this then country capitals you can spain madrid italy rome okay so like that also it's defaultly available in word embedding method okay so let me enter into the jupyter notebook okay uh, here i already have some this one last session i done okay so just i will uh, go through this and then i will enter into the word embedding method okay so here i am importing a nltk so after importing nltk i am here i am using some paragraph okay some paragraph those paragraph will be stored in w okay so in w we have a paragraph and then here i am using w okay so type of the string okay so if i run the cell it's running okay so 
type what is the type of my w okay type is nothing but string type okay so what is the first step is tokenizing okay so tokenizing is one of the important steps okay in nlp and then first step also okay whenever you want to do any processing in nlp process you want to do first step as a tokenizing only okay maximum okay so tokenizing so here i am using tokenize called word tokenize okay because i am having a paragraph i need to convert those paragraph into word okay so here i am just passing the word tokenize uh, using a word tokenize function name and i am passing a w okay so i will get an output those output i am plotting the output means here you can see so all the paragraph will be converted into the single single words okay so after each and every white space will be take it as a comma for example here you can see v l then uh, in paragraph we have comma space comma and space some other words we have but here automatically we have well comma and then comma also will be take it as a another one words okay that is called tokenizing okay so after tokenizing you can see using len len is the one of the function that is to find the length of the variable okay so here i am using uh, w underscore token so totally i have 337 words okay so totally here after I am tokenized this paragraph into the uh, word, okay, word tokenizing, I will be get some output. Those output length is 337, okay. So 337 output length, and then here I am using frequency distribution, okay. So frequency distribution is nothing but here you have a paragraph, okay. In this paragraph, I need to know how many times most of the uh, what is that most sorry here here it's not an english language it's some other language okay so if you want to means you can use database pair of writing we check for that if we get an any paragraph we will copy paste it okay mm loading so frequency distribution is nothing but it will be check the how much repeated words or repeated uh, symbols okay you need to check means you can use like this okay still it's loading okay so here we have some paragraph enough this one is enough okay so what is paragraph then I will be move on to my program and then I will change this language. Okay. So here learning string type, then word tokenizing. Okay. So here you can see paragraph called the building blocks of paper dot many students define paragraph in terms of length. Okay, so like that. I converted the words and then I will check for how many totally have only 166 words okay then I am using frequency distribution frequency distribution means how much time the word is again and again repeating in whole paragraph okay so I am importing this frequency distribution after importing I am using for loop I am checking so here you can see the output yeah so here I am repeating yeah 15 times in my paragraph yeah is, yeah is the repeating for more number of times and um, then after that uh, comma is on a second place okay that is 10 time it's repeating and half is third place eight time repeating okay so and then dot eight time same and paragraph also eight time okay so like this you can check for using frequency distribution function okay and then after that uh, you can check uh, check for top 10 Okay, using most common function you can check for top 10 data okay so if you need only top 5 also you can change into this top 5 okay so total top 5 we can get the output okay so this is the basic uh, about frequency distribution and most common words and uh, n grams okay i already told you in presentation slide also about n grams okay so n gram is nothing but uh, 
uh, we have totally three type of grams okay one is n gram by gram and tri gram okay so in by and tri in name itself suggest is there okay two times and three times okay so here i am get i am passing one uh, paragraph sorry passing one string only okay not a paragraph passing string then after that i am tokenizing the word so i tokenizing the string after tokenizing the string i am just passing into the by gram okay that output okay you can see the output see here this is the output of after passing into the by gram that is first of then again it will be take of all and then last letter will be taken as a first letter and then comma and the comma will be uh, first just okay so this is called n grams okay if you check for this for trigrams it will be repeated for three three times okay that is first of all comma just okay then here from here to this from here to this okay like this it will be take three three times okay that is sorry here you are using n grams okay n grams will be five times i am giving so five times taking so trigrams you just change the uh, word here we have okay so here we have trigrams okay so this is the thing we can use it's mostly used for your okay uh, a siri or okay google or any other um, sorry okay so like that you can check it out so stemming i already told to you if you are giving told you if you are giving a word uh, sorry if you give any word like giving or eating it will be converted into the neutralized word give okay so like staff words uh, staff words we have i me why myself we our so these are the words it will be uh, no need okay so if you are so if you are checking the length of the words totally we have staff words is 179 okay that is almost 180 words for me not important okay so you need to draw you need to delete that staff words uh, in visual learning so if you are training on uh, if you want to train on uh, machine learning algorithm okay you need to do first tokenizing after tokenizing you need to do uh, stop words okay so stop word is nothing but uh, you need to uh, remove these words 179 words it's not important words you need to remove those words okay so and after removing the stop words you need to do some uh, removing unwanted symbols like uh, apostrophe or uh, comma or exclamatory symbol or question mark okay or one two nine okay so numbers also you can use this re r is one of the library package you need to remove some uh, unwanted symbols okay so you can use this after using this one you need to move on to uh, what is that word embody okay so before we are before uh, we are doing like, like these steps you are directly give your text into the uh, word embedding uh, word, word, for word embedding it will give some errors okay so for that purpose i am telling you to what is the some of the basic steps in nlp okay so next thing punctuations okay you can find punctuations also for example i am giving a sentence i love iron man 3000 times here i am giving an input so you can check the tokens also okay what is the pronoun noun okay and then we can check like this also and chunk chunk is nothing but uh, it's nlp will ability to uh, give an output of uh, its organization or ceo is uh, ceo is one of the person okay person name like that it will be give then output okay so here google is a noun uh, sundar Bajay is a noun okay like that it will be give some of the output uh, like that is the help of any chunk okay so this is the tagging uh, this is the thing i want to tell you about some basics okay about this uh, program i already done uh, in this uh, channel in this pentakid and in channel you just search it for um, natural language processing uh, in this youtube channel you will check okay it will be give the result of nlp natural language processing okay so after this i will enter i already told to you we will see about today word embedding okay i will show you a word embedding process okay so for word embedding i am importing a packages like uh, 
numpy okay numpy is a numerical python np and spacey okay so this is one of the package okay so import spacey and then here i am importing the language okay that is english language okay so if you are installing the spacey the language is not available okay you need to uh, separately install this language english language okay then after this i am passing one this is the vector you can the future of machine learning model okay so here what i am doing is i am just uh, creating one text and then i am passing those types okay that is nlp pipes okay that is just i am converting into the vector okay so what is the output here i am getting so see here nlp dot text i am passing after passing is tokenizing after tokenizing it will be converted into the array that is vector form okay if you are using the shape keyword you will be get an output 12 comma 300 okay so 300 is the dimension of the vector okay with one vector each word okay so each word will be represented as a one vector so that is overall uh, 300 vector okay so there are many combined words that are also available okay so here i am using a single vector only okay then after that uh, let me enter into the that spam okay so i already told to you we have a uh, spam like data set okay so those data set links also available you can just download it okay so here i am reading a pandas okay after reading a pandas here i am using a kaggle website uh, notebook only so if you want to read uh, kaggle website notebook okay so otherwise if you want to uh, import your data set to kaggle website you can just drag and drop in website okay so you after you creating a notebook in your uh, kaggle website okay after you downloading the data set you just drag your uh, excel sheet and put it in the here okay so then automatically it will be uh, import the data set to your notebook okay so wait a minute okay so here you can see here i am importing a spam.csv file and after that same thing what i am doing here okay same thing i will be do for here also okay so totally i am getting a better set 5572 and 300 okay so 5572 and 300 here here you can see overall count value also same value only 5573 okay 73 is nothing but uh, we need to reduce this first column sorry first row okay so 5572 okay classification model then after we done this one i am directly imp uh, tra importing a train and test speed from sklearn okay after train and test speed i am passing the train and test speed that doc vector and spam label spam label and test size equal to 0 0.1 random state okay so it's dividing x train x test and y train y test okay so x train x test y train y test is nothing but here i am having a data and data of that output that is label okay what is the label here i am having totally two label one is hcim and spam okay so hcim and spam according to that it will be changed in y train and y test okay then after that i am importing a linear svc that is support vector machine algorithm after importing a support vector machine algorithm i am just um, uh, some of the like linear SVC model and X train and Y train. I am training the algorithm. Okay, so after training the algorithm, I am getting the accuracy result 97312. That is 97 percentage algorithm will be understand understand properly. Note uh, accuracy result is not a main output. Okay, you want to check using confusion matrix also. Okay, because uh, accuracy result uh, will based on the accuracy result you can't um, give exact uh, result okay because sometime it will be an imbalanced data set also sometime it will be a balanced data set also okay so always you can prefer about a confusion matrix okay so confusion matrix is the best way to uh, 
uh, best way to find the exact result okay so about cosine similarity yesterday i told you okay how we can do cosine similarity okay if you want means you can check the yesterday's videos also uh, and then cosine similarity okay so this is the process we can convert into the vectorized form okay so so here you can see i am passing then one text that is replay now for free t okay according to the legend so here i am passing the two vectors okay so i am finding the cosine similarity of two vectors is 70 percentage okay so this this is the way we can you can do the vectorization that is word embedding okay so this link also uh, i copy the link and i will send to you okay in comment box okay you just check it down okay and if you have any doubt regarding this session you can just ask question okay i will reply you now i will uh, paste the link in comment box whoever you, you need uh, whoever need those uh, program okay just click that link and then uh, check it out okay so i am posting that link So I posted a link. If you need means you can check it out. The link starting is kaggle.com. Okay. Uh, www.kaggle.com. Okay. And about data set also, I given a link in description. You can download the data set and you can work on it. Uh, work in it. Okay. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon. You will be get a notification each and every time. Uh, so why because we are posting a daily two videos morning session and evening session okay and it will be useful for helpful for this quarantine okay so you can check it out and then uh, if you are like this video you can hit a bell like button okay it will be boostful for us okay so about uh, <coughs> morning session this is the nlp okay so if you want to attend evening session the same i am only taking okay the evening session title is understanding artificial intelligence platform and services okay so about artificial intelligence platform how we can do artificial intelligence what are the platform available okay about this i am uh, taking a webinar on uh, 8 7 2020 4 4 pm to 5 pm okay so if you are um, if you are free you can attend this webinar also okay so about okay so about this webinar it's over okay so if you have any other doubt please put it in comment box otherwise uh, i will tell about uh, some other intensive details Okay. So about certificate, you can just click the link. That that link will be in description and uh, comment box also. We will uh, do it. Okay. Thank you. So thank you. Uh, let me end of this session. Okay. So we have an uh, some other thing okay so Pantech group has partnered with IETE okay Institute of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering so we are offering the internships like uh, one month or five days okay some other domains like in deep learning or MATLAB or machine learning or uh, VLSI NS2 network simulations IoT network things okay so if you are willing to join with us Okay, you will be get a certificate with IET uh, certificate. Okay, then you will be get some domain knowledge also. 
so if you are willing to join with this intensive uh, at last i will show you some three mom three numbers okay you can contact those numbers and you can register for intensive so thank you one second so by kamlesh if you are if you have any doubt regarding this webinar you can contact me on hori.java or direct pantechmail.com uh, details for upcoming events or you need further more information you can contact me sorry contact us in whatsapp and telegram okay so telegram channel is pantech e-learning you can use this and you can check it out and then thanks uh, the further more information about your uh, about the intensive or like this webinar for any colleges you can contact these numbers okay so mr sandil kumar mr srinivasan and mr kumar asami uh, so you can contact this numbers you can register for internship also or any other webinar for your college you can check it out okay so thank you guys i hope everybody will enjoy this session let me see in today's evening session also okay about today's evening session topics also artificial intelligence only okay we will see on today's today evening session okay thank you have a nice day